Uh, welcome back. Uh, Wait, um, hold up. This is episode 20. Is it 20? I think it's 20. Oh, uh, welcome back to the Big 2 O. Big 2 O. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be talking about uh, some, we're going to kind of like branch off what we talked about last week and just talk a little bit more in depth and like some. Uh, what? Okay, before we go into that, we're going to apologize in advance if this episode is not up on time. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let's just say we had a good night last night, and <laughs> let's just say we are kind of off today. We're just relaxing today. Yeah. It's uh, currently 7 o'clock yeah, at night. Yeah, we usually do this podcast in the morning around like 10 o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. but it's 7 p.m. because, you know, Wesley decides to go to bed at 5 a.m. and <laughs> wakes up probably at 2. No, noon. Noon? All right. Yeah. Afternoon time. Yeah. And he got an extra hour of sleep, too. No, I didn't. Wait, hold on. I he, okay, he's staying up an extra hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to work this. But yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty much about it. So, apologize in advance. So, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but I, we're going to try to get this out on time. Yeah. So, but yeah. Okay, here we go. So, basically, we're going to branch off um, a little bit of what we talked about last week. If you guys watched the episode, I suggest watching it. It was a pretty good one, I think. Um, today's episode, we're going to be talking about... Uh, for me personally, I want to like dive into some like some things that like you know I still struggle with, and I feel like a lot of people still struggle with. Also, um, the reason I stay up till five is because me and my friend we were talking about you know some real shit, and it made me realize that uh, it wasn't about PC. No, it wasn't about PC. I say, you talked about five an hour. You did, yeah. I, mean, I, I kind of had to leave at that point. <laughs> you could have came over and joined in, but uh, so uh, we talked about you know some real shit, and it made me realize. Uh, some things that like I'm going through and I uh, just kind of want to talk about like things and maybe it can hit someone else that's close to home and make them realize that, like maybe the way they're doing things isn't really how they want to do things or realize what they're doing so basically it's like you know I still struggle with um, anger I think uh, and you know my friend was asking me you know why why are you so angry and like it was weird because i couldn't answer the question how'd you get angry for wait were you angry at the time or no uh, it's just like i have a lot of built up anger uh-huh. uh and i can snap really easily and i don't like i don't like snapping but like it, it's become easier and easier to like get me to that point of like do no you, return do you bottle shit in yeah that's why yeah but i don't know what i'm bottling in <laughs> does that make sense so like, i really don't know exactly where this anger or frustration really comes from um for those of you who don't know there was uh, an accident that happened when i was 10 that caused me to have traumatic um like experiences and uh from those experiences have led up to me to be uh emotionally um unstable in some areas of my life Mm -hmm. Uh, and anger happens to be one of those one of those emotions that has presented itself time and time again um and i just don't understand where it comes from or what happens um so uh and this is current i'm not saying that like i know how to fix it or anything but i am saying that like i'm going to try to work on it and hopefully that can add some valuable um assets to this podcast and like hopefully i can figure out what helps me and talk about that through my journey and like obviously like we're going to update throughout the podcast and see how i am and whatnot there are some things i want to i want to do and whatnot that is going to help release those angers but like not in like a a very um destructive way more of like a kind of self-healing kind of way um but yeah just like thinking about that and um trying to figure out what the hell is happening and for me it was like i didn't even realize this you know Mm -hmm. i didn't realize that like I can get angry and I don't know if anyone's ever played video games with me like I can get extremely toxic really quickly (laughs) and it's like you know if you play with Wes it's like you don't want to make him upset because he will literally destroy you right I've realized that stems from the the anger that I have inside me that I can literally just fucking explode through words and really hurt someone's feelings right yeah and I don't I don't want to do that it's just like a reaction I have I guess um, and I want to make sure like I'm not like that anymore. I want to be calm, collective, and like just chill and relax. You know, like most people are. Um, and I think that it really also puts a damper on like my happiness overall. You know. I think. So question: like, how, So how do you use your mental health? And I don't know how to word this, but it deals with mental health. What do you mean? Like, so how do you like release 
stuff? Like, so, like how do you release the feelings you have inside yourself? So there's, there's a lot that you can do. Well, um, how do you do it? How do I do it? Yeah, how do you do it? I want to talk about what, what can you do. Uh, what how what do I do, do it? is I play video games. Okay. That really tends is, to... Is that a good coping mechanism? I don't think so in my eyes. Just yeah. because like I'd rather be doing other things. You know, I'd rather mm-hmm. be doing other things that's going to, you know, push my career further and further. Um, and I want to make sure I do that. So, like, I play a lot of video games. And, like, when I'm angry, it's like I want to play video games to release this anger. Because mm-hmm. I can go in there, I can play Call of Duty, and I can go I can go hard. And, like, kill uh, a bunch of people, go crazy, and, like, it's like release that anger, right? Mm-hmm. It, like, puts a damn... I'd rather play video games than, like, do other things. Mostly because like I just have this anger built up, and that's that's how I deal with it currently. Now, am I going to keep doing dealing with it like that? I'm going to try not to, uh, just because I don't think it's healthy. You know, it's there's there's resources around me that I can use to, in my benefit to help, you know, cure this anger inside of me. Um, that's what I do currently. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm trying to think about doing is like you know, talking to people. Um, and like just kind of like letting them talk about their emotions and let me talk about my emotions and hopefully within that process it makes me start to realize what's really going on inside my head instead of just like playing the guessing game i guess you know and luckily for me there is a person who's also went through that traumatic experience that i can sit down and we can talk and we can kind of balance you know memories and emotions off each other that we can both relate to so it's it's like it depends on your circumstance really but i feel like the first step to developing a healthier and more sustained life is to recognize that there is an issue and that's probably one of the hardest things to do because i didn't realize i had an issue until my friend was like you know he's just talking to me and it's like as he was talking he wasn't he wasn't even targeting me really it was like as he was talking it was like i started realizing things about myself you know and that really resonated with me. And it's just like trying to figure out what to do from there. Mm-hmm. I feel like, Jeremy, I feel like there's some things that you, you are dealing with that you really don't know how to, you know, deal with. So you want to speak on that a little bit? I need to think about it first. I mean, yeah, but like. Because I, I already know I have skeletons in my closet, though. Mm-hmm. It's just. Uh, shit. I mean, I know. I don't know if it's sure about me being angry though, because I know I do get angry sometimes, and I know when I'm angry, I usually like to I usually pace back and forth, mm-hmm. and just start thinking about it for some reason. Is about to go off. No, I'm just looking at it. And then uh, sometimes I play video games, but usually it helps a little bit, because I'm not in the video games like I was back in the day. And then. I think knowing that usually usually I'll sleep on it if it's really bothering me I'll I'll probably talk to someone about it for three days like three days afterwards it happened because usually like what I learned is like not everything is like to be taken seriously Mm -hmm. and then once I kind of figured that out I just became super calm so that's why you always see him. I'm very calm, except for last night. That sounds fun. I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. I think you you uh, got outside your your bubble a little yeah, bit. Yeah, uh, I'm not much of a party person though. <laughs> I'm, a tiny I'm, one. I know, but overall, I'm not much of a party person. I, agree. I like to be at home. Yeah. Because one, I don't know why I always play a worst case scenario for some reason every time. Like, hey, go to this party. No, I'm good. Cause I think like, oh, I'm gonna do some bad shit, and the next thing you know, I'm have probably getting home either I get in a car crash or I get pulled over, and I have to get myself out of it, and I have to explain to my parents like, hey, like, I did this, pick me up from like, the police station. I don't know. I always have a bad case scenario every time someone says party, so I just exit out. That's why it's called a social gathering. Okay, social gathering. That's why I called it that. Just so, so like, it wouldn't trick. Because I know you, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. I've invited you to multiple parties. Yeah, I know, I know mm-hmm. you get And then people, like, try to tell me to drink and stuff. But I'm like, no, I have to drive home. Yeah, but I mean, if people, like, if, like, I know I'll be okay if someone else drives. Yeah. But, like, if I know I have to drive, I'm not doing I'm, not, t- I'm not touching that. Right, that's why I just told you to pace yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, 
You need you need like, water. I, like, good. Yeah, I told her, I got, I got some water from you. I was like, hey, I was like, hold on, let me just drink some water real fast. Give me yeah. some water. All right, sweet. I think you enjoyed yourself. I think towards the end you got a little uncomfortable. Uh, just because, like, we just talked about PC stuff. Yeah, you guys talked about PC. You had the door open, and I was just kind of getting tired. Yeah, that's fair. So I, was I like, mean, I'm glad you stayed, though, for yeah. a while. You know, mm-hmm. you came over and played some Pong with us. That was fun. Uh-huh. Was, I liked it. I didn't finish the truly though. It doesn't matter. I know, I didn't But we it. won. We won that that game. <laughs> that was my first time playing all that stuff. I don't, fun, I don't play beer pong. I don't do, uh, like, what, flip cup? Yeah, I never played flip cup either. I, 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 don't, I don't play those games. Yeah, but it was fun, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah. I hit you multiple times, though. You did. <laughs> you fucking... No, because, like, you were kept on... You know, because you kept on talking. You were like, oh, yeah, this PC, you gotta get this graphics card. I, to, I was like, you better fucking go. <laughs> We won. <laughs> and they were like, chill, bro, chill. I'm like, no, you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people that have skeletons in the closet. It's mm-hmm. just, I feel like also a lot of people, they like to hide it. Mm-hmm. They like to put on this, like, mask that they have that they oh, are, yeah. that they're, they don't have these skeletons in their closet. And I feel like that nine times, actually, I have to say ten times out of ten times, will destroy that person's personality. And that person will eventually believe that they don't have skeletons in the closet and then they really do and it has this like kind of counterproductive like thing going on with them that's like you do have skeletons in your closet but you're purposely avoiding them which makes those skeletons in the closet even more potent and people can take up on that and read off that you know um, like hey what's wrong with you oh nothing's wrong with me I'm fine yeah exactly and you're I was like, like you don't look fine bro <laughs> yeah like bro you look like you're going through shit no like, I'm fine no you don't want like you want to talk about it I don't want to talk about nothing right now let's just focus on this I'm like alright cool yeah I feel like people just need to be more open mm-hmm. you know like it feels good to be able to just talk and yeah. just like get things off your chest I know that's yeah. why I mean do you go to therapy at all or no no I don't go to therapy I mean I know there's been a big advocate of mental health for like a few years now. No, there, therapy is really good. I know. I, I did a little bit of therapy back in the day. At first, back in the day, I didn't really feel like it helped me now. But mm. I feel like now, since I'm more like mature, I feel like it could help me now. Yeah. I was in therapy um, after the incident happened. But I, I don't know. Like, I know it's a lot of money for therapy. But I, I think there's some places like you could probably go find some stuff online if you do your digging. Some insurances will pay for it, too. But it's just like, eh. Yeah. Because I know, like, you could literally have, the like, the mask, like you said, but if you find, like, a good way to get off your chest, you, you, you'll you be fine. Yeah, I think people just need to stop masking it, mm-hmm. you know? I think people really recognize it, what's going on, and really try to develop some kind of system that you can do. Yeah. To recognize that you're you're doing what you don't want to do, or you can try to figure out how to get things off your chest easier. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just as easy as a friend, or if you have a spouse, or uh, you know, or a family member that you can talk to. Anything really that you can kind of talk to because you have something in your head, right? Mm-hmm. And you think like this thing is a hundred percent true. You know, I'm a piece of shit, or whatever X Y Z. And then you go and you talk to somebody, and that person goes, "No, man, like." You're not a piece of shit, and here's why. And you go, okay. And then, like, this is what you need to do, or this is what I've done, or, you know, this is what I think you should do. And you could listen to that person. Sometimes people go and get help, but they don't ever listen to the other person. They always think <laughs> the other person doesn't understand or won't get them. You know, I've, I've personally struggled with that. You know, I've always, I, I've struggled with, you know, believing that this person doesn't know me. This person doesn't get me. This person doesn't know what I'm going through so I'm not going to listen to anything this person says I've personally gone through this and it's just like you have to accept that person is trying to help and actually listen to that person mm-hmm. because if you don't then you know that person's you're not nothing's going to happen so I mean that's how I personally would do and like just realizing like some things that you just you aren't aware of in some situations that other people are aware of and when someone says something to you, it's not to be mean. It's to show you that that person is seeing what they're seeing. And maybe there is something going on psychologically with you that you can't explain, per se. And that you need someone to kind of bring that to your attention. Um, I see this a lot through a lot of people. I don't think anyone's really perfect. I feel like everyone has skeletons in their closet. And I feel like everyone doesn't really deal with those skeletons. Um, and the people that do deal with those skeletons, you can tell who deals with their skeletons. Like, they just, they have an aura or a presence about them that is just, 
you can just tell. Like, that person got their shit together. Like, they know they fucked up and they will 100% admit it. And they will tell you what they've done to learn from those things. Um, but you can definitely tell the people that have skeletons in the closet and believe that they don't. And it's like, you know, do you want to be like that? Or do you want to try to be fulfilled in some kind of area in your life if that is... Uh, being blocked by this this situation, you know, which happens a lot. People get held back from these these little things that are bothering that they don't want to talk about. Like it it feels bad when you have a friend that's like you know trying to help you, mm -hmm. and then you go, Amy, are you good? Like, yeah, I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. It's like, okay, well now you put this relationship in a worse spot because this person was trying to help you, and then you made them feel like they don't you don't want their help anymore, and it's like. That person might feel upset or thought that, you know, you trust them or not. This is a bunch of paths that this could lead down. It's just like, take what you know and what you feel and be honest with yourself and those around you. And don't don't lie to other people. And, you know, Yeah, yeah, focus. lying really doesn't get you nowhere. Mm -mm. No, I mean, there's been times I lie, you know. I Sometimes I... Uh, I make stories that are more interesting than they actually are. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever done that? Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking yeah. about. It's like, it's like, you know. You try to, yeah, I know. You yeah, know. it's like. Try to make it seem like you're better than, you know, than, than what actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, yo, man, I was down, to, like, downtown last night, and it was just like, hey, I just saw these baddies. They looked at me, and they was like, hey, you look good. I'm like, you know I'm handsome. Yeah, in reality that, you just drove. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, I mean, like, yeah, that might make you cool in the moment, but like, that didn't really happen. So <laughs> it's like, oh man, like, don't lie, mm -hmm. don't, don't lie to yourself, don't lie to others, and just be true. And it's hard not to do that though. Like, it's hard not to be like, yeah, like this happened, you know, and it never didn't because like it's gonna make you seem cooler. It's gonna make you f you feel cooler, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you you yeah, gotta. You think those lies are okay, or you, or you want to talk about the other lies? That's like, you're not trying to hurt someone's feelings. Though. I feel like any lie is not okay, just because like. You think any lie? So yeah. you're, like dragging it, like you know, like yeah, dragging, I feel like drag, dragging a story to make it seem a little better. Yeah, it's not okay. Like if it didn't happen, it didn't happen. But if you want to explain it, like how you felt, then that's fine. But okay. if you're adding details in there that never really happened in the first place, don't add those. You know. Yeah, because, like, people... Yeah, but I probably... feel like those I feel like those lies don't really care, because we all know, like, in the end, like, oh, we all know this man's bullshit, and we all know he didn't, like, you know, but you don't hit, do. like, ten, like, hole-in-ones in a one shot. Like, we all know, like, like we all know you didn't do that. That's right, bullshit. But, yeah, so, but why do you want to be considered the bullshit? You know, you don't want to Just do to that. boost your ego. Yeah, but, like, there's no point in it, right? Boost your ego. <laughs> but your ego's only boosted for a little bit, and it's like, your ego really has a fucking control over you at that point, right? It's like, you don't want that. And also, like, you don't want to... Like, for her and someone's feelings, my perspective is I'm very blunt, so I don't really care. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't... I have this attitude, it's like, I don't care. Like, I'm going to tell you how it is, and if you don't like it, that's on you. Personally, I feel like being blunt and upfront with somebody about an issue that is going on mm -hmm. is more rewarding to that person than just, like... Well, it depends, how they, it depends how they take it, though. I agree. It depends on the person, depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna, I'm personally not gonna sit here and sugarcoat you and, uh, you know, tell you that, you know, you're doing a good job, but, you know, you're doing some things, but I, like, you're doing great. Like, I'm really gonna tell you that you're fucking up. This is, cause, like, that's how I wanna be treated, right? Mm -hmm. If you see something, if you see that I'm doing something that's like, you probably shouldn't be doing that, I, want, I would like for someone to tell me, right? And be straight up and blunt with me. So I'm going to treat you like I wanna be treated, and that's how I wanna be treated. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. But at the same time, though, you need to have these things brought to your attention. Like, 100%. Not just 50. Not just, like, 25. Like, 100%. You need to brought, get these things brought to your attention so you can think about and execute a way to solve these issues. And if you can't, then that's an issue. Right? That's another issue that you need to solve. And I feel like nowadays people are just way too sensitive and people get very upset over the tiniest things. And it's upsetting. It's really annoying. And then also, like, the fact of, like, you know, I'll be here for this person constantly, day in, day out, day in, day out. And then, you know, 
this person is like constantly flaking on you, constantly making you feel down, but you're there for them, right? Mm-hmm. And then one day that person just makes you upset and you say some shit that you didn't want to say to this person, but you you try to tell them that not to do these things and that that person does it, and then that person disowns you. It's like you, after every every like bad thing that happened to them, you were there. You know, you try to help them through and everything, and then they just kind of drop you out of nowhere. It's like, at that point, what do you do? Do you let that person go, or do you try to go back? You know, for me, it's like, I try, dude. This is, I can't keep doing this. You, the person's not around anymore, you feel stress-free, what do you do? Right? You don't know. So I think, like, lying to the person is going to solve nothing, right? Mm-hmm. I think just being blunt and upfront and then talking about the issue is the best way to go. Because if you guys can't talk about the issue, you guys shouldn't be talking about the issue. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah, I think uh, today's podcast a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Yeah, I feel. I'm sorry hey, if you guys don't. I say like, what is it? Twenty seven. I can't read that. My... It's twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. Shit, that was kind of quick. You want to yeah. stop it here? I don't really want to, but I don't know if you have anything to add to this. I know, like you're, like you're not really dealing with things right now. You're not really. Just... I'm just. I just know this week is my last week of school right now. Yeah. So like, I'm just. I just want to just finish up, and then maybe next week look at what I need to work on right now because I know like right soon after this I want to actually own a house now Mm -hmm. and then move on from there and oh yeah for we're gonna move on to some random topics I guess maybe at least 30 minutes long Election coming in. Do you want to do a quick, yeah. do a quick reboot on the? Yeah, we'll do a quick reboot. Ugh. Yeah, a quick reboot so we don't have it fucking do it right when we're talking. Oh, is that All right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Good. Boom. Easy. All right. As I was saying, election Tuesday, November third. Do you think there's gonna be a riot Wednesday? My mom's been telling me there's gonna be a riot. Do you think Wednesday. I do? Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about this last night. I think. I think right now the country is extremely divided, right? It is so divided. it doesn't. In my eyes, it doesn't matter who gets elected. I feel like there's going to be a riots, riot. riots no matter well, what. Yeah, I just feel like there's there's a higher probability where we are if Trump loses. You think so? Yeah, if Trump loses. I feel like there's going to be more yeah. riot in Ohio. But if he wins, I don't think a probability of a riot from Biden won't really happen. No, I don't. I feel I like there might be like a little. Shitty celebration. Yeah, you know how people celebrate they go a, hot, a wild and shit. Mm-hmm. I feel like that might happen, but I feel like probability. Yeah, I feel like Ohio is a lot of Trump supporters. Yeah, and yeah, if if, like, if Biden wins, yeah. that could be that could bad be, for Ohio. That could be Ohio. Yeah, because my mom was just telling me just be careful on Wednesday because if like shit happens, it's gonna be it's gonna be dangerous and people don't know how to act because they're all stupid. I'm like, okay, mom. Yeah, just don't have any kind of political thing on your car. That's all I can suggest for anybody. <laughs> I just have a Yankee take the I just take have the Trump Yankee. stickers off. Take the Biden stickers off. Just if you don't want your car to be vandalized, take it off because you don't know where the election is going, and you don't want to be. Yeah. I don't want my car vandalized. So I'm I don't not want my car either. vandalized either. I mean, some people were just like fucking. They would go all in. Like today, me and me and um, McKenna were driving on the freeway, and I swear <laughs> to God, this person had like. At least seven flags on their fucking vehicle. At least seven. seven. flags? Yeah, on the SUV. <laughs> and, like, I was like, how does this person see out their car? Like, I'm not talking, like, little flags. I'm talking, like, fucking yard flags. Like, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And it's just, like, Trump everywhere. And I was like, like, it's just, in my eyes, it's like, I don't have the time or patience or need or want to... And go all out f- like that for an individual, you know. I'm like, not going. Uh, they, they're they're putting him as like, like a religious icon. I, yeah, and I don't get that. You know, I don't, I don't understand. Like the elections is, are I mean, the elections. You're supposed to look at each candidate and go, okay, that's cool, or okay, mm-hmm. that's bad. You know, like you're not supposed to do it. Like I, this I is. I feel too like much. this goes back to 2016, 
where like people vote for Trump because he was an outsider and he's not really feeding you lies like the other people, all the politicians are. You're yeah. Just, I feel like that's where people figure out like he's an icon and stuff. Like, oh shit, he actually gets us because he's actually going through this. He's not gonna feed us lies. Yeah, I mean, I get that. That's why. Those, I usually, yeah. That's why I usually see it as rather than you have like this one guy who's just like, yeah, I've been in like this high power for so many years. I have a, a Harvard degree. I have a Yale degree. I know what I'm doing. Give me your money. And then nothing happens. Yeah, I feel like this is... like so, This this election is like it's very extreme left and right. Are you going to vote this year? I was going to, but they have a ballot and they want like ID, proof of residence, they and my ID. Aren't you a registered voter, though? I registered, yeah, but they want me to come to there with all these things. Just to vote? Could Just you do, to vote. Could you do a mail-in vote, though? It's too late for that. Too late for that? I thought about doing it. I thought I was going to do vote early, but I just yeah. don't want to do it no more. I wanted to do it with someone because it would be my first time voting, but no one else was like, I already voted. I'm like, well, I ain't going to go because I already know it, like November 3rd, like I don't want to like wait in line for like four hours. Yeah. My problem was is they want me to bring my ID, and my ID does not have this address on it. And they're like McKenna had to go through the same thing, and they gave her hell because she didn't have the right ID. Yeah, they gave, so they it's gave, just like I feel like they gave me hell too when I just tried to get my yeah. license and shit. It's just like I don't even know if I want to do that, yeah. you know. So when, I probably when, won't be voting this year. When does your license? You gotta get a new license anyways. I get a new license when I'm twenty five. I'm twenty three. Yeah, but don't you need to get the new license though, where you can fly and shit? I'm not flying anywhere, Jeremy. Let's be honest. But hey, I got the one that you can fly now. Yeah, it I was mean, it was hell because like I live in the. The Gahanna or Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> and they gave me hell for that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds ridiculous. But, I mean, yeah, I don't think I really need that right now. I mean, I'll probably get when I turn 25. I feel like once I turn 25, I think I'll be doing a lot more traveling. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, for the meantime, I really don't need it. But I do think, yeah, that there's probably going to be riots either way. Um, I feel there's and... more probability of Trump losers going to be a riot. The probability. Yeah, yeah so your boy's just going to sit in his apartment. And not go out and play video games all day because no, yeah, not about that life, and I'm not about <laughs> having to worry about you know getting stopped on the freeway and fucking everyone start destroying cars. Yeah, I'm because not, I'm not people trying, are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, people are ridiculous and they are crazy and they don't care yeah. about anybody's anything. But I mean, I do feel like oh, what Netflix does have is kind of true. You know that Netflix document? Was it the Social Network? I no, haven't no, watched no. it. I know what yeah. it's about. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. I, did, I feel like that does have a part to play in that. Oh, yeah, it does. 100%. 100%. Exactly. That's why I stay off social media. I don't, I don't <laughs> I have anything besides my business Instagram account and Snapchat. I'm thinking about downloading Reddit again. But that's about it. Reddit? Reddit. I don't, I don't use Reddit. I like Reddit a lot. It's very niche. You can get really niche in that. <laughs> so like you can find out things you like like you can have accounting and business management oh, yeah, the most randomest thing happened to me today What's that? I got a text message saying the the recent post you have on Facebook got deleted like violated or like some weird shit I was like I don't post anything on Facebook anyway so I don't know how I got this huh did you check it I, I, I didn't post anything huh so I don't even know how I got that text message was it on our page that's weird you got a text message from I got it? a text message. I was like, my number's not even on here. That's weird. That's what I'm saying. I was like, what the fuck did I post? I was like, am I like... Did you go check Facebook? I checked it. Well, I went on my phone to check it, and then I saw like on my phone, I was like, hey, this is not secure. I was like, I don't trust this shit at all. Yeah. So I went on my, like, uh, my computer. I was like, all right, what did I post? What got flagged? I didn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, probably was a scam. You probably were checking your IP address. I know. That's just, I was like, okay, I'm not going to do anything right yeah, don't do anything. But dang, man, that's uh, that's thirty minutes. <laughs> that's thirty minutes. Yeah, we could go longer if you want to, but I don't know, man. It is currently seven forty-two. They like seven times did occur. So yeah, just please pull back your hour. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to go any further. I'm running on. I don't even know how many hours of sleep because I don't know when the clocks reset itself. So clocks reset itself at one. Uh, from my clocks, my perspective, I got six hours of sleep. <laughs> I got. I think I got. I don't know when. I think I went to bed. I got seven, eight hours of sleep because I left at like 11. Yeah. 30-ish. Yeah, so. Yeah. 
So, if you guys like today's podcast, which, I mean, today was a kind of chill, relaxed one. We just kind of talked a little bit. Also, Jeremy, you're out of frame a little bit, but... Um, oh, shit. And, uh, right. yeah. Uh, if you guys like today's podcast, uh, we ask you guys to just, you know, pay the fee. Uh, pay the fee? The fee. You know, you know, we don't we don't advertise on this on this uh this support YouTube. our Patreon page. Hold on. <laughs> we don't we don't advertise on this uh on the YouTube or uh on our podcast if you're listening. Uh so if you guys could if Spots you find found any uh any uh enlightenment through this podcast, please share with a friend. Uh that's all we ask. Uh so we can, you know, grow our audience and reach more people. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you like this video for the YouTube algorithm because if you like videos like this, it's gonna show you more videos like this. Uh, and if you are struggling and you need help, um, hopefully when you like this video, the YouTube algorithm is gonna realize that and give you more videos that are gonna be specific to this topic and kind of help you figure out how to, you know, go down the rabbit hole of helping yourself. Uh, because that's what all of life's about is making sure that we can, um, at the end of the day, be happy, fulfilled, and uh, well. So if you guys like today's podcast, just let us know in the comments below. If you're listening, oh. let us know on our socials at uh, Better As We Go on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we'll catch you guys next time on the podcast. My name is Wesley Jude. My name is Jeremy. And Jeremy with the glasses says goodbye. Absolutely, you guys. <laughs>